And if we look at the message of every single prophet who came in the past, that, prof that, that message that they came with was to worship the one true God alone, without any partners. And for that message to change, that is not something that would be befitting for the Creator. That after that message had been established throughout mankind, every prophet, one after the other, came with a particular message, and then now all of a sudden when the prophet Jesus comes, everything changes. And that's not a minor change which was being propagated and which was being um, uh, which was being preached that now God is actually a human being or that God now has a son or God has taken flesh. That is not a minor change or that God is actually coexisting is three in one. Although they are three different entities and they are co-equal and co-existing, co-powerful, co they are all one. That is a major change in his belief. And for all of the prophets to come with one message, and now for Jesus to come and change that, that is just not the way that it works. And the seal of these prophets coming with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad also came with this same message. He came and established what was the truth about Jesus, the truth about Isa alayhi salam. Because even within the church, there was a lot of um, conflict about what his role was in the church, who Jesus was. Was he actually the Son of God? Was he God himself? Was he one in three in the Trinity? Was he a prophet? These were all beliefs that existed within the church. And it wasn't until about the fourth century actually that it became finalized that Jesus was going to have the role as being the Son of God and that the Trinity was going to be an official doctrine of the church that we would accept where the Holy Ghost the, and Jesus and the Father were all considered God and co-equal. Okay? So that was a major change that the Prophet Muhammad peace be, uh, peace be upon him when he came he clarified that to us and we were able to get out and a clear depiction of who Jesus was, who the Virgin Mary was and what their status is in the eyes of Allah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept um, from all of us, you know, whatever efforts that we make to gain his closeness, whatever efforts we make to lead a righteous life, you know, we ask Allah, we ask the one true God to guide us in those endeavors, to make it easy and to assist us in leading this righteous life, and to excuse us and to pardon us of whatever mistakes, whatever shortcomings, and whatever sins that we may have, wherever we may fall short, you know, we ask him to fix those deficiencies and to fix those flaws and to remove those sins from our lives so that we can lead the life that we were supposed to lead. So that we can lead the life that was shown to us by Jesus. So that we can lead the life that was shown to us by Moses. So that we can lead the life that was shown to us by Noah, by Abraham, and by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, last and foremost, the seal of all the prophets. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make that easy for us and for all of us to have it open our heart to what is out there and to what the truth may be. Because what the reality is, is, is that most likely we were born into the wrong religion. If you want to look at it from a number game and odds, uh, the average human being is going to be born into a, the wrong religion or a way that is not the way that Allah or the, the way that the one true God wants from that person. Now what is, what, where does that leave that person? Whether you're a Christian, a Muslim, a Jew, a Buddhist, a Hindu, Christianity is only one fifth of the population of the world, along with Islam. So four fifths of the, of the world are being born into a different religion. So if we look at it like that, chances are that we may have been born into a wrong way, or a way that was not intended for us to follow by the one true God. Now whose responsibility is it that they find that way that will please their creator. It's each and every individual's job that they see and they learn what is out there and they seek to discover the truth for themselves. And not suffice to, well, my mother was like this, my father was like that, and my father's father was like that, and my mother's mother was like that. You know? Because that doesn't, you know, no one accepts that 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 
that uh, philosophy in any other aspect of life. No one says, well, my grandfather believed that the world was flat. So even though science now says that the world is round, I think we should all believe that the world is still flat because all of our forefathers said that. Right? Or no one says, well, my father and his father and his father were all engineers, so I want to be an engineer too, that's why. No, so when you grow up and you develop intellect, and you're able to think for yourself as a grown man or a grown woman, then you as an individual are responsible for every decision that you make. And you will be held accountable for whatever decisions and whatever choices that you make, whatever decisions, whatever choices that I make. So this is just, inshallah, a request for myself and for all of us that we seek to learn what is out there and we seek to find the truth for what it is, not for what we want it to be necessarily. Because if I had it my way, I probably would have stayed Catholic. The majority of my family is Catholic and Christian. All of my friends, and most of my friends and loved ones who I grew up with were all Christian. I had no reason to fear and change. Except for the fact that if I truly wanted to be, if I really wanted to be true to myself and be true to my Creator, I had to take a step back and make a decision based on what would be best for the Creator. How can I best worship my Creator? How can I best worship the God who has given me everything? Who has given me my limbs so that I can walk? Who has given me everything, my eyes so I can see? Who has given me my ears so I can hear? A person has to step back and ask himself, am I living my life because this is how I want to live or this is because how I, my Creator wants me to live? So inshallah, we take that effort to learn and to see and we ask guidance from the one true God, not from any other creation, and may Allah Ta'ala, the one true God, guide us to that way, inshallah. Jesus was not crucified. 